Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. I want to be a weeble. So a weeble's a little toy I used to have as a kid, and basically it's like a little egg-shaped person with a weighted base, so when you pushed it over, it kind of stood itself back up again. And I thought that'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? To like kind of fall forward and then auto-correct back up to standing. Now I've seen something similar to this. There's an old Charlie Chaplin movie where he sets his feet in concrete and they're kind of wobbling all over the place and rolling around. A little bit like a human Sabutio player. But I'm thinking if we can do this, get it right, and then kind of supersize it a little bit so I can be even higher off the ground flopping all over the place. That, Giggity. that's a project. Now I'm thinking then we need to cast our own concrete sphere as a base. And regular viewers will know, in the last video, I actually made myself another workshop for doing some bigger projects. And although this is not gonna be huge at the start, once we've cast our concrete spheres, it's gonna be a lot easier if we've got a forklift to move them around. Right, here we are at Stinky Farm. Let's make some concrete spheres. Okay, two methods of which we're gonna try out. First method, scrapey scrapey. Half moon shaped bit of wood. We're gonna fill this tray, sort of full of sand around the outside, and then spin it round inside it so it kind of cups out our sphere. Get some sand and cement mixed up, put it round the outside, scrape it round again so it makes like a thin mold within this tray. Then we'll put cling film round that or something to like kind of make like a breakaway agent. Fill that up with sand and cement once it's gone off, obviously. Then we'll be able to lift the whole thing out, get rid of the sand, tap the thin mould away, there's our sphere. Second method, floaty, floaty, floaty. This basically also going to go on the hydraulic motor, spin round in a circle, We're going to heap sand and cement up on a board and then scrape round it. A little bit how you see those people that ice cakes, the cake spins round and then they kind of put a thing to the side of it. We're doing that, but rather than the cake spinning, the floaty thing's spinning. And then we'll do that. Right, which one is gonna be better? Which one is gonna be scalable? But before we do that, there's something a bit fishy going on. Not everything on the internet is as friendly as me. So when you're surfing the web, you need a VPN to keep you and your information safe and secure. You need Surfshark VPN. just like any other app, but you can have unlimited devices so all of your family can be covered and secure. <laughs> it also does this really cool thing where it makes the internet think you're in a different country, which means you can stream services like Netflix outside of the country of origin. Basically, I use it to watch the Formula One when I'm on holiday. And it doesn't just protect you at home, it protects you when you're using public Wi-Fi as well. It's those pesky hackers trying to get all your info. So to get Surfshark, using my code on screen and in the description, you will get three months free and 83% off. But there's a Black Friday deal between now and the 31st of December 22. You will get an extra three months free and 85% off. <laughs> support them, support the channel. They've sponsored lots of videos now. They're our friends. Let's be their friends. Yeah! Wow, you're gonna make yourself a big cement cake, boy. Oh, yeah. Man shovel sand next to JCB. <laughs>
Okay, while that one's set in, method number two. This one's working a bit more like a guide. It's not, it's not troweling it at all. It comes round here and it just flicks it all out. I can kind of use it to use this to smoothen it off. So all is not lost. Okay, it's been sat here for 24 hours now. It's gone hard. I wouldn't say it's completely dry, but it's solid enough. Now, when we fill this up with concrete, obviously we don't want that concrete to stick to this concrete. So I'm gonna paint it with garage floor paint, which is waterproof. So that kind of gives it like a seal, like a membrane. So when the next lot goes in, it doesn't stick to it. Well, it better not do, <laughs> or else we've ruined it. Right, got our two half spheres. This one's set, this one's not quite set, but I'm gonna break it out because I think our initial mold pour is sticking to our main sphere a little bit more than I'd like. So before that completely sets and it adheres to it, I'll bring it, I'm gonna break it out. Right, well it's finally free. It actually wasn't that bad chimbling all that off in the end. Now in terms of the uh, shape, this one's definitely more uniform than this one. And I can tell you, there is some serious weight in here. So I'm gonna get the telehandler, flip this one over with, because this one is a lot harder than I think we can have a go at weebling. Good job of putting them cushions there, didn't it? Right, there we go. Well, it wobbles all right. I've made this little pogo stick style stand I'm going to bolt that onto the plate. Is it going to be big and heavy enough though? <laughs> Let's have a go. Oh, Right, I think we've got two problems with this one. It's not quite heavy enough. Definitely not a perfect sphere because I can feel all the bumps. And also this stand thing is not strong enough because I can feel it bending underneath my feet. Right, let's get the other one out and make a better stand. Weevil too. This one looks way better. <laughs> oh my God, this is awesome. You're going to pull your fan in it. <laughs> Perfect, perfect. Some people say I weeble. Some people say I wobble. Some people say I weeble. <laughs> Some people say I wobble. Oh my gosh. I weeble and I wobble. I weeble wobble around. I'm not as good. But it's still fun. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Okay, this one is clearly better. It's way smoother, the metal ring is a great addition, and the stand's a lot stronger. Now, I'm gonna have a little play on this, get a little bit better at it, but, you know, at the beginning of the video, I said I wanted to scale this project. Yes, I wanna make a big one. With Weeble One weighing at 600 kilos with a one meter diameter, my original plan of two meters would have resulted in a Weeble that weighs over five tons, which is more than the telehandler can lift. So we've gone in the middle at 1.5 meters diameter, which results in a two ton Weeble. Right, while that's setting, I've got a little idea for an attachment for Weeble Two, and we're gonna paint it, make it look nice. We'll break this thing out, and then we'll basically just have a go on everything. Oh, beautiful! Oh, lovely! Oh, but oh, oh, oh. Ah. 
Why does that make me smile so much? It's the moon! Okay, got me two weevils. This one with a little cage in. This is a lot of fun. This Ukin Massive thing, we'll talk about that in a minute. Right, let's have a play with this one. Just get yourself in here. Right, so I've added this little cradle, basically, to give you a bit more support. Tighten these up. Ah. You don't even have to use your hands now, look. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't half work your stomach muscles. <laughs> and if I start twisting, I can go around in circles, look. Oh, no. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> it's just like a dance. How cool is this thing? But what if you get hungry while you're weebling? I want biscuits. I want... <laughs> Give me the biscuits. <laughs> you can't have a biscuit without a cup of tea, can you? Oh. So this is pretty good. It's well balanced, you can control it, you can manoeuvre it. <laughs> what about this? I thought I'd put a two and a half metre pole, I thought that'd be fine. No way. It is now five metres high. It's huge! Who would have thought the first project I make in here, my barn is not tall enough. Here we go. <sighs> this thing, I'm in the roof of the barn. I can, I can touch the roof, look. This is crazy. When I've got this massive workshop, I thought, ah, this will be fine. <laughs> I'm higher than the lights, that's why I'm in the dark. I mean, good fun though, that is. Proper fast. Oh! What an awesome first project for the new workshop. Now, I actually took the big one outside because it's a little bit constricted in here, but it doesn't really work unless it's on a dead flat surface. It rolls all over the place, which is really weird because if you're like going over and then all of a sudden it twists, oh, you end up like <laughs> hanging off the side of it. And if you try to do it on grass, couldn't even get the blooming thing to move at all. Now, of course, support the sponsors. They make all this possible. And if you're watching this before Christmas, remember there's a Colin First Christmas Jumba and a limited edition bundle box still available on the ColinFirstShop.com. But there we are! That's Weebly! I've enjoyed this one. What's next, Colin? <laughs> Subscribe!